I never thought I will ever start a vlog saying the police saved us. Something potentially very dangerous has happened to us at the end of our special day attending a special event. We explained everything in details, but before we get to that, please enjoy the rest of the vlog too, as we had an amazing time before it all happened. Bye bye little dog. I will miss you. Good morning guys, we left Pixel and starting at the early morning yeah. you fit too <laughs> I guess barely <laughs> we made it this was the longest we ever waited for a bus how long like like almost an hour almost an hour <laughs> but made it and we are on our way to metro manila because today is the day of a very special event once again that we've been already preparing for in previous videos i'm so 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 excited but still just at the evening we have some traveling to do before that and it's not the only reason why we are going to Manila we will actually be staying for a couple of days exciting stuff exciting vlogs are starting right now I wish I brought a winter jacket yeah it's so cold this is the bus stop guys or oh, the bus has always stopped somewhere um, on halfway i never really vlog it we usually just run to the cr but now i notice they have bibing because so i'm running but morning for if i'm bibing so. i love how when you sit in the cr there's an advertisement of what food is available in the buffet and it works because i saw they have bibing and now i want a bibing This is by the way the bus stop in. I think we are in La Pasta Luck and actually most bus companies will have some kind of bus stop if it's longer than like two to three hours and you can always get like hot meals, rice meals, lomi, ecuado, there's the whole Pasalubo center but Bibinka is what I want now. First Bibinka of this Christmas season I only had Puta Bongbong this year Never a bibinka. I have chicharo. Mushroom chicharo. A mushroom chicharo. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Looks special. It is. It was special price also, 70 pesos. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bus stop price. But it's huge though, so it's worth it. And that's a huge egg. Yeah, a huge egg. It's a very different bibinka than the types I've had so far. It was maybe not the best idea to put the coconut now, <laughs> it's falling everywhere. Mm. <laughs> wow! It's good. Uh huh. Mm, very special, very soft inside. Oh, it's very good. It's very good. It's not just like a tina pie. It's very soft and moist and beautiful inside. Best be being Welcome back to Pasai, the place where we start every single trip to Manila. Jonathan is grabbing the, grabbing the grub. The weather is so kind to us. As soon as we arrived, it's not really that cloudy, but it's officially almost a Mihan season, which is kind of like the coldest season, coldest <laughs> season in the Philippines. And I can feel it quite nice. Our 
for usual hotel where we always stay when we are in the area. We are only staying here tonight and then moving to a different place tomorrow. This except we can get into the room. Yeah. She didn't believe me down there. <laughs> she said uh, uh, she thought it was some kind of user, user error. <laughs> user error. <laughs> First time it happens. MySpace Hotel BGC. Okay, we are moving. We will never know what this room in the corner looks like. <laughs> there, it's also in the corner. Yeah, that's, that, how that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> nice. We will just put our stuff down now and then take a walk to grab a lunch in BGC. I think we will still have enough time to have lunch, come back and get ready for our event later. So pretty we are in the uptown area in BGC, very close to our hotel. I just noticing this uptown park suit building, how cool it is that it has like this kind of European vintage um, vibe on the bottom, but then on the top of it, it's, it's like a skyscraper. Cool combo. It's a Boniface show march. Monument also that we've never seen in BGC. We are having a BGC tour. Oh, it's under <laughs> Cheerful students. There's a lot of malls that are close to our hotel, like Market Market, SM Aura, but Mitsukoshi Mall, which is this, um, everything here is Japanese type of mall, is where we wanted to eat because it's rare to find like really good, like authentic tasting Japanese food and once we are here we can't miss the opportunity. We got okonomiyaki, it comes with rice, a little veggie salad, some tamago dish. Oh, and miso soup, I love miso soup. This is perfect. <laughs> we are getting ready actually a little bit I'm even late with getting ready I got too comfortable in our little hotel room taking a nap and everything but almost ready I by getting ready just quickly wanted to tell you what today's event is about and why is it special like I how I'm sure most of you or many of you who's been watching our vlogs before figured it out that we were invited once again by the Hungarian embassy in the Philippines to a special reception party but this one is really special one to me because the previous one we went to was like a smaller event it was less about cultural things in Hungary it was really just a smaller um, event in a smaller room with just fancy, regular fancy food, not Hungarian food and things like that. But today's event, it celebrates October 23, which is one of the biggest, most celebrated national days in Hungary. It's so special to me to be able to celebrate a day that is really important in Hungary, here in the Philippines. We don't know too much details of what's exactly going to be on the event, but I know that it's going to be more culture at this time and I know my mind is going to be blown again that things from my home country are just somehow here in Manila so very 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 excited for it and need to hurry because I don't look like I'm going to a formal event at all. Jamvik, where's your pen? 
<laughs> the dress code is formal or native attire and touch of spicy red. So this is my dress that you could see in previous vlogs when I was renting it out. And Jonathan's touch of spicy red <laughs> matching me. Is I, I'm a bodyguard. <laughs> yes, now you can be my bodyguard. Yeah, my name is Blanc. It's here on the necktie. The touch of spicy red, which I think perfectly matches the shade of my dress. So there, wonder, wonder, we are both visible like this. Ready? <laughs> spin, spin, spin. It's done. I did a whole block. We both spin. <laughs> 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 we all three of us looking good. With my uh, with, with your with your partner for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> the Hungarian parliament here, the capital building of Hungary and this is the famous um, chain bridge, one of the iconic bridges of Hungary in Budapest to be educational. You've seen them? Yes, You've in been real there. life. Jonathan's been there in real life. Because some people don't, they always comment that I can go. Yes. Yeah, some people say like, when will Jonathan go to Hungary? He's but been they, to Hungary. They yeah, we didn't vlog yet that time, unfortunately, when we went to Hungary together, but hopefully soon. The three of us can go. Yeah, Jonathan is drinking even my share of wine. Drink it for me, please, because I'm not allowed. Is it a good wine? Is it Hungarian? I can tell from the smell if it's Hungarian. It is. Of course it is. Not a big wine drinker, but still, Hungarian famous wines have a distinct smell, a very pleasant smell. This is what I can drink, guys. Mango juice instead of the wine. Cheers! Pregnant drink. <laughs> oh, so yummy. Welcome to the National Day of Hungary. On every 23rd of October, Hungarians bowing their heads in honor of the heroes of the 1956 revolution and freedom fight. Two friends stay with you, no matter the distance that separates you from them. I can proudly say that the, uh, my country, Hungary, found a true friend in Southeast Asia called the Philippines.
good selection, guys. I don't know if there's something that we can actually eat because most Hungarian foods, of course, are meaty, but I still want to show you. This is right here. is my fav one of my favorite Hungarian foods. Of course, this is made with pork, so not exactly this, but it's like a sour cabbage and then it's stuffed with meat. Of course, in paprika. Paprika sauce. One of the best Hungarian foods for me. There we got a lot of food actually and here's Rene and Jerome always have to be in the vlog We managed to get a lot of Hungarian food at the end We have nokedli which is like a dumpling to eat with the different skewers with sour cream How's Hungarian food? It's good, I like the rice <laughs> In Hungary if we eat rice we often it into kind of like a similar to fried rice but not really we put like green peas and things like that alcoholic drink in, the, in Hungary which is a mix of a lot of different herbs and it's actually believed to cure like sore throat which I have a little bit right now <laughs> yeah it's like it's actually a medicine people drink it out of pleasure um, nowadays too of course but it's a traditional medicine Hungarian dancer <laughs> together that's a, another multicultural while he do the Rubik's Cube she's dancing at the back <laughs> Rubik's Cube is also invented in Hungary it's a Hungarian thing just in yes. case you didn't know so there's actually a Filipino Rubik's Cube club who are in this event And there's even a photo booth. <laughs> I just messed one up. Ah, no, that's, that's no problem. Uh, we can, can you fix? Yeah, we can. We can. Just, no uh, that, that was fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they are good at messing it up. <laughs> wow, you did it. God, this is so cute. With the paprika. Yeah. 
and he's like he's oh. new he's new to this oh, oh guys that was an experience so you just you almost had a panic attack oh my i think you were having it. baby are you okay first panic attack together okay just we just literally got back from the hot got back to the hotel from our hungarian event had a terrible yeah. experience just set up the camera and want to we are discussing it anyway so we want to discuss it in front of camera so, so the police brought us back here so how what happened the whole thing like oh i'm sh i'm a little shaky <laughs> <Okay. We> <laughs> So we had an event in, in the in Shangri-La. We called a grub, a grub, not just a regular yes. taxi. We called a grub on the grub up. So we are staying in MySpace Hotel. It's here. It's 1.7 kilometers from, from Shangri-La, Shangri where we were. So we get in the grub first. We don't think anything about it. Well, I didn't notice first, but we didn't take our usual route. I was not paying attention. Because I'm checking our photos and stuff until you said because we are going the opposite direction. We are like still in like outskirts of BGC, like I can like near SMAura and things like that. But we never pass SMAura when we come back to the hotel. It's not in the way. We even pass as Makinvi here. Yeah, Makin. Like like I just noticed we were passing things that we shouldn't because it's not in our area. So I open Google Maps and I noticed. I try to take a screenshot. This is where. We were supposed to be going and we were already like here. He kept, we, he kept going the opposite direction and then the grab map kept telling him to make a turn to go back. And yeah. then he ignores. Yeah, and it like like at least three times he was ignoring it. So we're going the opposite direction and there's three... And not like turns when, when sometimes Google tells you to turn and there's no turn. There were a turn and he skipped it like on purpose. It's not like it's not possible to turn. First I was like, oh, but it's not traffic, it's 11, but I'm like, maybe he knows an alternate route that is better, but... After you told me, I I told him that uh, Kuya, we are going so far I'm... all already, and it's like, the app is having issues, the, like sometimes the grab app is having issues, and then I'm like, oh, okay, then I said, we, we need to go back, and then he's... He kind of just mumbled something. Else. That's the first thing though, I almost forgot. The reason why I noticed that something might be wrong when I look up is he started mumbling to himself, which is a creepy thing to do, it's a weird thing to do. First time, like, is he talking to the phone? I don't know, but he suddenly, like, something clicked in his mind and started mumbling to himself, and that's when I looked up and started noticing these areas that we don't usually pass yeah. on the way here. After he kept going, and then I was checking now the navigation because he said it's having issue and then it kept repeating itself that make a u-turn and then and then after he ignores that it's saying the next u-turn will be 11 kilometers or something like oh, that or I it, didn't, it was I, very far i know how traffic is or how roads are in the in manila uh, but i noticed that it's not like really like google sometimes tell you to turn but you can't turn it happens no i saw the visible turns like three times that he could have taken but decided to ignore it it was so far right the next you turn and then it was still telling him to turn to turn somewhere else instead mm -hmm. he closed the grab up and then opened ways but I feel like now, thinking back, that now when he noticed that we noticed what's going on, he closed the grub. When I told him, I think so, I think he was trying to make it silent. Mm -hmm. Because I, because yeah. the, uh, the grub up kept telling like, turn, 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 and we, yeah. I, we could obviously notice that he's not turning, so he closed it yeah. so we don't hear it. What he wanted to do is to make it quiet, Yeah. so that we don't hear it. After we are going so far, it was like no nowhere to turn anymore and it's like it's way out of bgc already yeah, like yeah, we are kilometers so out of bgc starting to become like not that nice city area like like no one around and that like a yeah, highway highway empty place and then she started a panic attack yeah so first time like i'm trying to discuss with jonathan like silently you know like like is it okay what's going on like but you know it's not okay after i told him to just let us go in a gas, gas station. station but oh exactly we passed the gas station and then there were no more was that a pretend the first time i'm scared so i'm truly scared but i'm like we need to get out of this situation so first time 
pretending. I didn't actually have to throw up. He said, he, no, you turn. He anymore. said, oh, we can't, we can't stop here anymore. So I'm telling, I'm telling like, we are like, 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 Bunti Sarko, like I'm pregnant. I, I don't feel good. I have to go to a CR. I will throw up. For, uh, it was just a pretend. It was an act. Five star artist. <laughs> because I just, like, suddenly that's the only thing I could think of. That yeah, I'm worried that it's like one of those. I saw in the news there's some that, like, will bring you somewhere dark with no one and then rub you. That's exactly. And then leave you there. Well, that's the better case yeah. if at least he leave, leave me there. I, I had lots of terrible scenarios running through my head. I'm already, like, checking if I can open the door, if I can lock pulled the window down but it was all locked it, i was already like not screaming but like like kind of like not talking in a casual voice anymore yeah. first he just opened the window which for, like, for you to throw for me to throw up but i'm like i want to get out i want to get out but when he's still not stopping and stuff and uh that's when i'm like actually about to have started like to having a real life panic attack when he was still not stopping and i don't remember exactly i was not screaming really but i was like like really like a panicky yeah i can tell telling him like super panicky so i guess he suddenly didn't know what to do and actually decided to at least pull the window down and then after we she got out in the middle of uh, i don't even know that it's like a highway with with a lot of past vehicles it's like eight lanes like kind of like a highway yeah like, like a eight lanes road and then we can't even cross there's a grass patch in the middle yeah. of from the we got up there and then I'm like, what are we gonna do because we can't even cross the road, we will get run over. After he let us go to the, in the middle of the road where there's really no way, yeah. no way out because it's like a four lane road and past vehicles, trucks. I guess he let us go because we, what, we will get back in his car yeah. anyway after I throw up because where else would we go? Yeah, he was waiting. I was literally in my big fancy dress, in my high heels, in a grass patch, tumbling around. But I was like, okay, I don't know how I will get out of this, but better than being in his car. And until a police... <laughs> God bless the police, best guardian a, angels. How did they exactly a, show up? A police car shows up because we are in the middle of the highway. <laughs> Yes, keep telling him to turn yeah, and to there's turn. an actual turn and he did not turn. Me, yung GPS niya po, puro turn right kanina nung lumagpas kami tapos lalo po siyang lumakal yun. His name is even in the grab up. Like, I, I don't know what's going on there, if it's really a mistake or what. But it's, it's so a, shady. A, a lot of red flags. So shady. Like, I'm like, so... Like, the biggest red flag is the when he closed the, the up. closed up and and how his story while while he has issues kept changing we rarely share anything negative um because rarely anything negative happens to us but when something does like i know i'm a very how do you call it like i always assume the best from everyone here to my first thought was maybe he knows an alternate route but when something is shady it's shady and there's things that you can't be like oh maybe it was just this was something what was going on the fact that we came from shangri-la in fancy outfits yes. doesn't help us i'm sorry to have a negative experience but it's a hundred percent was something really really bad about to happen if we don't get out of that car but something would happen but something would happen yes the police the police uh, pull up behind the car 
Literally they were there. Yeah, they were there and then we come out of the grass patch <laughs> with a tree. <laughs> oh yeah, because we were behind yeah. of the tree, the police didn't even see us. Yeah, the police see didn't even see us, they saw the car that it stuck in the middle of the road. So on a positive note, yes, we had a terrible experience that was potentially very dangerous, but also such helpful, kind police. They instantly like, okay, get in the car, like we will take you home, just we will confront the driver. Yes, they talked to him, <sighs> but he didn't uh, really did anything yet. Yet, yeah. Yet. And the police was so nice and even brought us here. Yes, thank you, police. Yes. Best police. We didn't even get their name. Yeah. Salamat po. Thank you. Oh. Never thought I will ride home in a police station from from my event to the hotel. From a police vehicle. Oh my. That was an experience. Did they come accidentally or? Ah, it's accidental. I was trying to get help. It's a cold. They said they they were going somewhere, but they noticed that we stopped in a area that is not supposed to stop because we're in the middle of a high speed highway. Yeah. So they said it's dangerous. We man, we are lucky. We are lucky. They are lucky, they are exactly going. <laughs> they are going. Yeah, the whole situation is weird. I don't also want to, to think that he's planning something, but there's so many red flags. Like, I don't even know how to drive, but I wouldn't miss those turns. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just very clear. It, yeah. You will only miss it if you do not want to turn. To end it on a positive note, we are here. Yeah, thanks to the police. Thanks to the so nice police. It's good that they are always uh, patrolling around. Moral of the story, just never let your guards down even if you think you're in a safe situation. <laughs> well, that was not, a, not fun, but still ending on a positive note because the police was amazing and helpful and kind and understanding and exactly in the right place at the right time that's crazy that's like we have like some guardian angel watching over us yeah that's very fast response that's very fast. <laughs> i didn't even call yet but i already trying to go call them on ground that we're not okay we need help that's the story guys don't know how we will even use this footage but we just it literally happened to us 20 minutes ago and just had to had to record our experience because it's not something that happens every day luckily that's just the end <laughs> end of this um this channel is about our life in the philippines good or bad 90 90 percent of the time it's good but when something like this happens it's also it's also part of it and overall it was still a <laughs> positive experience in a way of course because like luckily we are here Luckily nothing but happened, super thankful for the awesome police for helping us so kindly without questions and bringing back home. I think uh, that could have been something very bad turned into a good thing, so thankful for that.